Today is the sixth Sunday in Lent. Hello, church school families. This is the final week in our Lenten series by Godly Play titled The Faces of Easter. Let's begin. In the beginning, a baby was born. God chose Mary to be the mother of God. Listen again to those words. God chose Mary to be the mother of God. The mother Mary and the father Joseph took good care of the baby. When the baby looked up into the mother Mary's face, he already could see the cross. And when he looked up into the face of the father Joseph, he could see the cross there too. The mother Mary and the father Joseph took good care of the baby. They held him close, they kept him warm, and they gave the baby everything he needed to grow. And he did. He grew into a boy. And when he was about 12 years old, he and his family went into the city of Jerusalem to celebrate one of the high holy days. When the celebration was over, his family, along with many other families from his village in Nazareth, were traveling back home when Mary and Joseph realized that Jesus was not with them. They thought he had been playing with the other children from their village on the journey back, but he wasn't. They returned to Jerusalem and they looked everywhere for him. They looked in the narrow streets. They looked in the marketplace where they had bought their food. They went back to the place that they had stayed the night. And for three days and three nights, they searched and searched. And finally, they found him in the temple. He had been talking with the priests. And when Jesus spoke, the priests listened because he knew so much. And when they spoke, Jesus listened because he wanted to know more. When Mary and Joseph found Jesus in the temple, they asked Jesus that question that so many parents ask their children and their children do not know how to answer. They said, why have you done this? And Jesus just looked at them and said, did you not know I would be in my father's house? They didn't understand. Their house was in Nazareth where Joseph's carpenter shop was. They did not understand, but they did not forget. Jesus grew into a man. He came to the Jordan River where his cousin John who was a wild man, you can see him here, had been baptizing people. When he approached his cousin John, his cousin John was seeing Jesus as though for the first time, he realized that Jesus was the one that they had been waiting for. He was the Messiah. Jesus said to his cousin, baptize me. And John said, no, you should baptize me. But Jesus replied, it is written, you are here to prepare the way. You need to baptize me. So John dipped Jesus into the Jordan River and he went down into the dark and chaotic water. And when he emerged, some people say they saw a dove come down from heaven and come so close to Jesus. And others say they heard a voice that said, this is my son with whom I am well pleased. After Jesus was baptized, he went across the river and into the desert to learn more about who it was that he was supposed to be. When Jesus was in the desert, there was little food and little water. He heard a voice. The voice said to him, if you really are the son of God, change these stones into bread and eat them. But Jesus replied, 
real humans do not live on bread alone. Later, he heard the voice again, and it was as though he was on the top of the temple, looking down over the edge. And the voice said, if you truly are the son of God, throw yourself down off of this temple and see if the angels rescue you before you hit the stones below. And Jesus replied to the voice, we do not need to test God. Finally, it was as though Jesus could see all of the kingdoms of the world. And the voice said to Jesus, if you follow me, I will make you king over all of these kingdoms. And Jesus said, I am to be king, but not that kind of king. And the voice left. Angels came to minister to Jesus and Jesus knew what his work was to be. Jesus crossed back over the Jordan River and went to do his work. And his work was to come close to people, especially people who no one else wanted to come close to. He's coming so close to this blind man. When Jesus came close to people, he made it so that they could do things that they could never do before. The blind could see, the sick were made well. Jesus's job was also to teach people and he often taught in parables till one day he realized that he was to become a parable. Jesus entered Jerusalem for the last time. When he entered the city gates, he did not enter on a great white horse and he was not carried by soldiers, but the people thought he was the king that they had been waiting for. They did not notice that he was on a donkey he had to borrow. They tore down branches from the palm trees and waved them in the air and shouted as you do when a king is entering. Jesus and the 12 on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday would teach in the city. When they were done teaching for the day, they would go to the Mount of Olives to rest and to pray. One day when Jesus was teaching in the temple, he said to the people, look at this woman coming, this older woman coming. Listen to what she puts in the money box. Can you hear it? Nobody could hear it. It was a single coin. It was all that she had. Next came a man of great wealth, and he had so much to put in the money box that he needed help carrying it. Jesus said, listen to the sound that his money makes as it goes into the money box. And it was a loud thundering crash of coins raining down. Jesus asked them, now who do you think gave more? The woman or the man? Some people said the woman and some said the rich man. On Thursday, it was decided that the soldiers decided that they would, the temple priests decided that they would take Jesus. But when Thursday came, Jesus could not be found. He and his disciples went to an upper room in a home to have their last supper together. After they had eaten everything and drank everything that they needed and wanted to, Jesus took some bread. He gave thanks to God and he broke it and said, whenever you do this, I will be with you. He then took a cup of wine. He gave thanks to God and he shared it. And when he did, he said to his disciples, and whenever you drink this wine, and share it with one another, I will be with you. His disciples did not understand, but they did not forget. At that time, Judas abruptly left and Jesus and the 12 went into the Mount of Olives. Jesus went to the Garden of Gethsemane to pray. And when he returned, Judas emerged from the darkness and greeted Jesus with a kiss. That was a sign to the soldiers that this was Jesus and that they could take him. 
they took Jesus into the dark night and his disciples also scattered into the blackness of that night. The next day was a confusing day, a hard day. Jesus was taken outside of the city walls and crucified on the cross. That afternoon, Jesus died. Jesus's friends took him to a tomb that no one had ever been laid in before. And they moved a huge stone in front of it to close it up like a door. Saturday must have been the quietest day the earth has ever known. It was as though you could hear the world breathing. On Sunday, it was the women who had the courage to go back to the tomb. They knew that Jesus had died on the cross, but they wanted to be close to him and remember him. But when they arrived, they noticed that the stone had been moved away and the tomb was empty. And yet Jesus was there. He was there with them as he is with us even today, especially in the bread and in the wine. We know that when we see this, this part of the story is always here. And when we see this part of the story, we know that this part of the story is always here. And that is the mystery of Easter. Easter changes everything. I hope you have a wonderful week. Bye.